anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at this stat. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. residential areas by... And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, Paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at this stat. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. You got a king? Go fish! In your face! In your face! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today.
Good evening, and we are live once again. Thank you so much for coming on this live edition of Soul Dates Live. It's called Soul Dates Live for a reason because we're live, ladies and gentlemen. The architect, you know the name. Sean Garvey is right there at the bottom at Sean Garvey ATL. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sean Garvey ATL, where we are broadcasting live on Sean Garvey ATL Instagram Live. We are also broadcasting live on Roku. Ladies and gentlemen, so make sure you check us out on Roku as well as on YouTube. That is the channel, Beat Break Radio. Subscribe now. If you have not been a subscriber just yet, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Beat Break Radio, where we're broadcasting live. And we will allow you, the viewer, to comment live right here on So Day 5. If you are new to the program, this is the show in which we take a bachelor or bachelorette place them in a live studio like this one right here that you are seeing in front of your tv screen and we bring three contestants on to compete to go on a date with that bachelor or bachelorette and whichever the bachelor or bachelorette have a great chemistry with will go on a date with that person all right so it is simple as that we try not to make it too complex right here on so days live all right so make sure you let somebody know to tune in right now to So Days Live. But make sure you hit that cash app to donate to So Days Live. Cash app, dollar sign, reach one communications right now, all right, to help fund the machine. Only a few days until I make my epic return to the ATL. That's right, folks. I'm still broadcasting live from the beautiful city of Florida. Florida is like my second home, okay? So I'm going to be traveling back and forth to florida here and there but you know i gotta go back to my roots i gotta go back to the atl all right i have somebody telling me sean take them damn eyeglasses off i am taking them off right now okay so you can see my eyes here all right but make sure you donate cash out dollar sign reach one communications all right so last week's show we didn't have any daters we had a show but a no show shout out to i am queen to speak for coming on the show and at the last minute, we didn't have any daters, but we do, we do have some daters on the show tonight, okay? So we want to make sure that we have everything on point for tonight's show, all right? In the meantime, between time, we got some special guests that's going to be joining with us during the first half of the show before we go into the second half of the show, all right? Okay, so make sure, once again, subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to that YouTube Beat Break Radio and check us out there, all right? So make sure you do that, all right? And also, you can follow me at Sean Garvey ATL on Instagram, Sean Garvey on Facebook. We're also broadcasting live on Facebook. We everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, on social media and on your Roku TV, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, the new book, Speak Your Breakthrough, The Biblical Affirmations for Career and Business is available right now on Amazon. You know, I got to bring on my radio sister, my other radio sister and her husband, Miss Mo Davis and Rashad Davis on the check-in. What's going on? You know, I got to give you all the round of applause here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Rashad and Mo right here on Soul Days Live for the very first time. How you all doing? Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. What's going on? Good evening. Man, you 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 are the epitome of a happy couple. I can see you right now. <laughs> we try to be. You you try to be or you are? We are. We, 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 we are. By the, great, we are. By the grace of God, we are. Definitely, A definitely. Amen. But we, Amen. But we never want to give off the illusion that happiness is every day. You you make mm -hmm. your own happy. You choose your own happy. So yes, um, we're far from perfect. We're far from perfect, but we are very in love, and that yes. makes us happy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know what? I was talking to. We're going to get into the book in just a few moments, but I was talking to a colleague of mine the other day. We were talking about the state of radio. And I have to put AM 1260 WTJH at the top of the list there. Because I was telling my colleague that that radio station helped me build so many relationships with people, including you, Mo Davis, because you was one of the on-air talent 
that the station had at the time. That's how we met. This was back in, I want to say 2007. It was around 2007, 2008, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's it's incredible because I not only met you, but I also met the likes of Dominique Chantel, Dice Gamble, you know, people that I helped curated shows for. And to fast forward to 2024, you are doing major things, including your book. So I want to talk about the book for a little bit. And then we want to talk about some other other things that we have on the plate because we have our two daters in the queue. And we want we want you to, Rashad and you, we want you to school them on some things. But let's talk about Speak Your Breakthrough. I understand you had a book release party just a few uh, days ago. So let's talk about it. What is Speak Your Breakthrough Biblical Affirmations for Career and Business? Talk to us about that. Yes. So this uh, Speak Your Breakthrough, uh, what I like to say, it's not just a book. It is a movement. It's all about being intentional um, in terms of understanding like what it is you're going through in your career and your business and not allowing the current circumstances to hold you down, being able to own your power. And so we believe that God has given each and every one of, one of us power, authority, mm -hmm. dominion. Yes. And so being able to use that power, it comes from the life and death of our tongue, right? And that, that comes from our mouth and, and not just saying it in our brain, like, oh, I'm going to get a job. You know, I'm, I want to get a job. I'm, I'm strong enough to get a job. Um, but more so opening up our mouth and, and believing what we say, you know, saying that, I am fearfully and wonderfully made and the position that is meant and destined for me is going mm -hmm. to come to me and, yes. you know, in Jesus name. And so these are not just affirmations, which I believe are powerful statements, um, but they're not statements that that possess power um, and the word of God possesses the power. And, yeah. and that is what um, makes this book a little bit more unique than just an affirmation book, because mm -hmm. we have the backing of heaven, because we have. Uh, the backing of God and his word to um, to help those declarations and uh, go forth in the earth and actually move and make some make something shake, you know. So uh, that's what this book is about. It's all sorts of affirmations for your career and for your business, no matter what your predicament and what your situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to ask you, Rashad, I'm going to come over to you. How instrumental were you in the book? Because I remember, and I want to circle back to the episode that we did when I was doing the mental space on WLK when we were talking about kingdom business and the fact that you need someone, you need a partner, you need a person by your side to help you level up, to help you get to where you are. So I want to know, Rashad, how instrumental were you a, a part of the book? Hmm. I mean, I think that's a good question for her, but I'll say, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, from my perspective, just allowing her to have the space to create, uh, supporting her and empowering her to uh, pursue her dreams and also speaking life. We speak life over each other. We speak breakthrough over each other. We pray daily, you know, and declare mm -hmm. things over each other. So I believe just creating a lifestyle together um such as this you know uh helped her to instill that into a book and uh want to allow others to empower themselves in the same manner would you say that that's something? i would absolutely say that i think you know because we care we share different roles in the house um mm -hmm. some roles are 100 percent his and then other roles uh, are mine and so sometimes you know, when you're trying to birth something like a book where you're writing, there are times when it's like, okay, I might not be able to cook tonight. Because this is the only time I have to write in this book. Please allot me this time. And so that's him stepping up and, you know, trying to whoop something up in the kitchen. And <laughs> whip it up, whip it up. <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah, so it's him giving me that space and that support that's needed to take Zoe out and go to the park or, you know, just, just help me not necessarily have distractions when I'm just trying to focus. So, um, yeah, I think he definitely was instrumental and he also wrote the forward, uh, in the book. So yeah, he definitely was very instrumental in this, this project. Let's put a bookmark in the book for one moment. 
what is you all's perspective on the dating scene right now? I mean, does some things come in? <laughs> I'm, I'm <blessed laughs> <to be> <laughs> that's, that's that, my perspective. Yes. And that's the answer. That's the answer that I was expecting because it seemed like nowadays there are certain people that say, hey, look, I want to get married. And then there are certain people that's like, you know, I just want to live my best life. I ain't thinking about getting married and I just want to be out here in these streets. You know, I mean, we heard Rashad's perspective. What is your perspective, Mo? So I believe that a lot of times when um women see this this what they call goals and dreams and and things like that and so they have a desire to um get married for the look of it for the beautiful marriage you know i was actually watching this one podcast where this young lady was saying oh you know i just want to i just want to have a wedding i don't but i don't want to get married you know, I want to have, I don't want to sign the piece of paper of giving, you know, my half of my life, half of this and half of that. And, you know, that's how I know that we, we live in such a superficial pseudo, um, you know, lifestyle where everything is just all about being flu gazy. Everything is all about mm. being fake floss, flo flossing. Everything is not real, you mm. know, and I think that's a part of the dating scene. It's like, we are who we attract. If, if I am in my brain, I only want to, to, to look like I'm married. I want to only want to have the look of it for, for social media. Then right. that's what I'm always going to attract someone who is, you know, not a person who uh, values marriage in the first place, who's just trying to get something anyway. So I, I've seen so many different instances uh, with women out here. And I think that, ultimately they're they're missing guidance I, I just really truly believe it's just a um um a misunderstanding of what true love is a misunderstanding yeah. of who they are themselves their identity a misunderstanding of god's love i just it, it's just this full big misunderstanding i mm -hmm. feel like it's just like everyone's thought process of marriage thought process of dating thought process of what a man is supposed to be Thought, mm. the thought everything is skewed yeah. and so for me m when i hear dating or when i think about dating i feel um two things one thing i feel sad i feel sad for the women who don't understand how to date and i feel sad for the men who don't know how to be um their true authentic selves mm. and you know how to identify a, a, a powerful or even just a a woman who matches who they are you know who um they can be vulnerable with they can be true to themselves with and who will love them for who they are so it's both it's that feeling and then there's a feeling of strong agitation um mm. and so when i when i feel that agitation i know ding 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 that's something that i'm supposed to help minister to at some point of my life um, yeah. so, so those are the two feelings that I feel is one is there's empathy and sadness. And then the other is there's a strong level of agitation. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember once again, to circle back to the mental space that we had you on last year and Rashad, you called into the show. And one of the questions that I asked you Mo was, are you all raising your children to be wives and or husbands? And your answer was yes. If I if my memory serves me correctly, I, I remember you said, you said yes. And do you think that it still is? Do you think the root is that parents are not raising their children to be husbands and or wives in the near future? They're not, cause, cause here, here's the thing, like there's already talks about curating a wife school and or a husband school this is not make-believe i heard that there's going to be a potential wife school or husband school because people don't know how to date nowadays or they just want to date any kind of way and stuff like that so do you do you think it still goes back to the root of the household of what they're not teaching their children what marriage and what dating should be or what it looks like to them 
A hundred percent. There needs to be, of course, an example. And when there's no example and the parents haven't had an example, it's just been generations of single parent households. You know, what is there to teach? You know, they don't really have that uh, knowledge to teach from. And then if they're not rooted in God, you know, they don't uh, have the word to lean on in terms of that. There is no example, but I 100% believe it starts in the home. A lot of the uh, the the issues of life, you know, the paths that the individual takes, all of those things start in the home. And we absolutely um, ensure that our kids see black love. We don't hide us being affectionate to one another. You know, the, uh, the way that we communicate with one another, all of those things are visible examples that they have to see. It's important for them to see. And um, of course, when they're old enough for us to talk through, um, we're always open. I'm always excited to talk about dating, T excited. Our, our uh, teenager, we talked to him going into high school. I, know I had my one-on-ones with him on the concept of dating, um, mm. dating in high school, all of those things and people being all in your business and just how to really move, you know, uh, with wisdom in dating and uh, setting that foundation for him for sure. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So I want to give our viewers and listeners Mo and Rashad an update. So if you all recall, a few months ago, I had a young lady on by the name of Dana who I was on a date with a few months ago. And the update is, is that I don't think it's going to really be something more than what it is right now, which is just a friendship. And as a single person like myself, who not only does this, you know, host and produce So Days Live and help other people find their one, find their match. But I'm still out here not only figuring it out, which I'm figuring out, you know, every time, but I'm just like, yo, I cannot wait to get married. <laughs> you know, back in the day, back in the day, I was like, I'm going to be a player player because that's the community. That's the world that people like myself come from. You know, we were raised or we we've been engineered, socially engineered to be players and to be out here and impress other people to see how many women we can get in, in this type of thing. But, you know, at 40 and being much more older and wiser and looking back at the dating scene to you, what you said just a few moments ago Rashad you like man I'm so glad I'm married this this dating scene is it's rough no part it's of it. bananas <laughs> right yes it's bananas so here's the challenge because I spoke to you two Mo and Rashad and, and we're gonna touch a little bit more about the book uh which is available right now on Amazon by the way ladies and gentlemen speak your breakthrough biblical affirmations for career and business by Mo Davis get it. available right now yes go get it right now on Amazon while you're watching So Days Live is available right now on Amazon um here's the challenge and because we're coming up on the season finale of So Days Live I want to see if y'all two can hook me up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if y'all two can hook a brother up on so days. Like I let you all host the season finale of the last episode for the season. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna are we gonna uh, hear what's your type, what you're looking for, all of those all good right. things? Yes. So my type, I'm going to go ahead and give you all my type right now before we go to our two daters. We have our two daters in the queue right now. So my type is this. I like a person who is, oh, I mean, we can get into the trustworthy and the honesty and stuff, but I always go for the nerdy types. You know, I like a nerdy, comical type of person who just wants to um enjoy life you know of course somebody who has a moral compass a moral compass but somebody who just enjoys life loves to have deep thought-provoking conversations but i always go for the nerdy type you know i remember back in the day my crushes were uh hillary from the fresh prince of bel-air <laughs> and karen parsons <laughs> Oh, wow. But she was bougie, but she was bougie on the show, but off offset she was, you know, she was eccentric, you know what I mean? But I go for the nerdy types. Okay, all right. 
Um, so nerdy type, that's one facet of someone. I think it's, it's important to, you know, have a list for sure of just not thinking that you're going to get everything off the list, but right. having a list, um, is basically like having a standard, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like, okay, I want this, I want this, I want that. Now I have my list. And I feel like for me, he checked the box of a majority of those things and some things he didn't. Mm. Um, <laughs> <Next to me. laughs> He's so silly. He's so, and that was on my list for him to yeah. do like that. But, um, but yeah, and I'm sure. He, I didn't have a list. Well, okay. Well, I believe in having a list. standard. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, a standard, the standard, is, right. a standard yeah. is very similar to a list. Right. It's just okay. basically in your mind is what you're desiring from a mate. And a lot of times we have to make sure that we are um, that we already by default attract the people in which who we already are. Mm. So I can't I can't go somewhere with a Gabby Road College Park mentality and try to get a Beverly Hills mm -hmm. man. Right. So mm. you, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. we have to remember who we are and where we are before we're saying to ourselves, OK, let me you know, I want a Beyonce. But yet I think oh. like um, a guy, you know, a, 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 a poverty stricken man, you know what I'm saying? And it's not about being broke. It's not about having more money or not. It's, it's about a whole bunch of other things than that. It's about character. It's about integrity. It's about your, um, right. even your potential, you know, so it's, it's having that list, but also being understanding and saying, okay, I know maybe this might not happen, but this person has a couple of things and we can work together on the other pieces. And right. so I think, you know, having that, but just at least having that list initially to, it gives you a vision mm -hmm. of what you're looking for. And I had a vision mm -hmm. of who I wanted. I wanted someone um, who who loved God more than they loved me. Mm -hmm. That was my biggest thing. That was the top of my list. I want a man who loves God more than he loves me because I knew if he yeah. loved God more than he loves yeah. me, then he would not want to disappoint God. He mm -hmm. The way that he moved would be a, moving as if God was watching him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if he wasn't perfect. And so that's how what I met. That's who I, you know, got with. And and and, and to be honest with you, I love God and that on that same level. So I attracted who I was as well. Indeed, indeed. Um, and you said that very well. Once again, Mo and Rashad Davis. Hey, speak your breakthrough biblical affirmations for career and business by Mo Davis available right now on Amazon. Are you all ready to go into the second part of Soul Days Live? Can you all hang out for just a little bit to check Let's out the it. action that we got? You're ready to do it. You're ready to ready. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, we got to get the round of applause real quick. Uh, there we go. We got to get the round of applause. We got to get the round of applause. We got to get the round of applause because I'm getting so excited. <laughs> If there is a match and if there is some type of uh, potential talks about taking it to the next step, all right? So it all starts here on So Days Live. So Mo and Rashad, they're going to sit back and relax. And by the way, just as a fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, they are the third married couple to be on So Days Live. We had married couples and couples on the show before. And uh, before we start... Before we start, I think it's only right that Mo and Rashad give our daters some advice. So before we switch it over to our daters that are in the green room right now, what advice do you want to give to our daters at the moment? Starting with you, Mo. I would love to see see one of them first so I can kind of look at it. And Let's, say, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and bring in Smooth Double B. He's been on the show before. Like a hundred times. No, I'm just sorry. I'm just I'm just exaggerating the number. <laughs> but he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth Double B. He is the Bachelor. How you doing, Brandon? Good to see you again. Oh yeah, it's good to see you all. You back again, and I'm glad to be here and see you all as well. All right, all right. And do you want me to go ahead and bring in our Bachelorette? 
or do you want to just speak to him only? Because we have our bachelorette. She's in the green room right now. Let's speak to him. Let's let's speak to you first. I, I would so um what's his name again? Brandon. Brandon AA hey. smooth double smooth double B. Okay, awesome. So Brandon, my husband and I, we've been married almost nine years. And so we're just on here giving advice to individuals who are a part of this show. And um, I guess for me, I, I'd love to know what brings you to a show like this, like what brings you into desiring to find your mate or your your person? Oh yeah, for me, it's all about like building that dynasty and building that empire and leaving that legacy. So it's all about just um kind of finding your twin soul or like your other half that you can build with then you can leave that legacy on oath so you can go transcend and do your missions in the spiritual realm as well so i kind of see it through like the spiritual realm and also on the physical plane as well okay okay and what has worked for you what what has what have you actually done besides this show uh for dating wise i just been um kind of like applying to like different like dating shows or just like finding someone who kind of like matches my energy because i kind of have standards not like standards but like i know what i look for and yeah. um yeah, especially like that all right well brandon my only advice for you right now but without knowing a lot about you for me before i I um, allow my husband to ask, it would be just to be your authentic self and don't change for anyone, you know, be your authentic self. And when I say don't change, um, if there's some things that you need to address, address them, but meaning like don't try to um, wear a mask or anything, just be your authentic self. Don't try to answer the question based on what you think somebody wants. Just truly be your authentic self and the person on the other end it, it, it's either they're going to like it or they don't, <laughs> right? So that's my advice. Any advice? Yes, yes, Brandon. Um, well, I, I love that you're being intentional about it. Of course, that's the first step. What I would say is um, take a genuine interest in the potential spouse, you know, your potential spouse. Take a genuine interest by asking questions, allowing her to uh, be comfortable and have a safe space, all of those things will absolutely um, uh, have her intrigued and interested. So that's one thing. The other thing I would say is to um, be selfless. You have to lose your selfishness. As a single person, you're going to be selfish because you only have to look out for yourself, you know, but when you're coming into a relationship, uh, half of the battle is letting her know that she was thought of you know any ways you can show a woman that she's thought of she's gonna appreciate so that thing and then the third thing is to um keep your uh your standards stick to your standards because the two first two things are going to really uh drop her guards and allow her to come in you know, um, but that third thing is going to be like, hey, I'm not a pushover either. Yeah, I can be open and, you know, gentle and, and, and connect with you. But these are my standards. You know, I won't be taken advantage of, you know, and, and she's going to appreciate that as well, because she's going to know that no one will be able to take advantage of her when she's with you. Oh, Those yeah, are my three things. Yeah, thank you both so much. I definitely appreciate it. All right. So, so Brandon, you ready? You ready? Oh, yeah. Always ready. Definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. This has happened before on a live edition of Soul Days Live where we were supposed to have three people and then we end up having two people, but now we only have one. All right. And I think this would be a bit more intimate than our past shows because it's just one instead of three. So let's go ahead. And uh, Rashad and Monique, they're going to stick around to watch this and to judge for themselves. Uh, so I'm going to bring this young lady on 
let me introduce you all to her she is she it's actually her birthday by the way so uh hey now it, it, shout out to the birthday girl shout out to the birthday girl uh uh 35 <laughs> she is a self-employed property manager she loves animals of all kinds especially her two cats she also have two tattoos and one more she also enjoys kinds of different kinds of music, movies, and television. Uh, she is in Georgia, by the way. Shout out to my Georgians out there. And she has a bachelor's in hospitality management and a master's in higher education administration. You can't get any better than that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and bring her on to the stage. Akeya. Akeya. Did I say your name right? Akeya? <laughs> Acacia. Acacia, I'm sorry, Acacia. Welcome yes. to Soul Days Live. Good evening. How you doing, Acacia? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for the birthday shout out. <laughs> shout out. Hey, it is your birthday. It is your. I believe that is everybody's birthday, but this birthday, I mean, is it? We, we're going to make your birthday. Let me just say that you're live with us. <laughs> okay, good. You're here with us. Okay, so say yeah, hello sure. to first and foremost. Say hello to. Mo Davis and Rashad Davis. Hi, y'all. How are you? Okay. Now, they're going to be observing and evaluating how you and Brandon are going to interact with each other. So, tonight's show is going to be a little bit different than what we're used to. So, let's start off by saying hello. Say hello to your bachelor, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Uh, hey, how's your day been going? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's my birthday, so obviously it's a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay. So, Acacia, let's go ahead and stay on you for a little bit before we go into our uh, rounds here for Soul Days Live. Tell us a little bit more about yourself tonight. Uh, today is your birthday, but let the viewers, let the listeners know a little bit about yourself and to Brandon uh sure yeah so um i don't know where to start <laughs> um so like you said um i have a bachelor's in hospitality management i went to cal poly pomona which is in southern california kind of la county area um and then um in 2015 i finished my master's in higher education administration at san diego state university um wait hang then, on one second um, uh, hang hang sorry. tight for one moment because we've been experiencing a little bit of technical difficulties on our end we want to make sure that we hear you very clearly so let's try again and let's see if there's some background noise that's going on that's an interference but go ahead and talk again okay yeah can you hear me now is that better yeah okay. everybody can hear her okay all right great go ahead uh let's start from the beginning please okay yeah so um so yeah so like you had said i have a, a bachelor's in um, hospitality management um i did that at cal poly pomona in southern california um and then i in 2015 i did my i finished my master's in student affairs slash higher education administration from san diego state university um uh, after that, I went up to Washington State and I worked out in the middle of nowhere for a while working at one of the universities there. Um, and, uh, and then in um, 2021, I moved down here. I've kind of been back and forth between um, Chattanooga, Tennessee and um, northeast or northwest um, Georgia. Um, so I own a home in Georgia. I've been living in Chattanooga. Um, and uh so that's kind of been my life recently is just property management but aside from the own the duplex that i own um i manage two other duplexes owned by family members um so uh that's been a lot of what i've been doing lately ownership is very important what brings you to so days live why do you want to be a part of this event that we have going on um i think it's a really good way to meet people um uh, as most of us know, dating apps are n not easy anymore. <laughs> um, I think the the culture has changed and the apps are more set up to earn money than to to 
match you with people or, you know, have you meet people. And so it's been uh, an adventure trying to meet people, especially like during COVID and everything. So um, this is, this has been, this is a very interesting way to, um, to meet people. And I think, like you said earlier, Sean, it's a more intimate environment because you do get to kind of um, chat with somebody one-on-one um, before deciding whether to move forward or not. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a cool opportunity. Okay, now let's keep in mind that Brandon is in Massachusetts and you are in mm-hmm. Georgia. So are the mm-hmm. two of you okay with you all being in two different states? I am. Okay, Brandon? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. All right. First date out is round one, ladies and gentlemen. First date out. And this is where Brandon and you, Acacia, you all will ask each other your ideal date. What does the first date look like for the two of you guys? All right. So we're going to place you all in a room, just you, Acacia, and you, Brandon. I'm going to take myself, including Mo and Rashad, out of the room for a moment and let y'all two talk. But when you hear the buzzer, when you hear the buzzer, that means that your time is up and we are ready to go into the next round. All right. So let's do Round one, first date out, Brandon and Acacia. It- Hi. <laughs> oh, Acacia, what's good, what's good? And so, um, first date out, so what would you be, what would you see as like the perfect first date? Um, I think it would be really fun. To, I love comedy. Sense of humor is one of the most important things to me. Um, and one of my like kind of top values. And so I think it would be really fun to go to a comedy show um, and uh, maybe do like drinks or dinner beforehand um, so that we can have an opportunity to chit chat and kind of get to know each other before we go and sit down and listen to somebody else talk. So um, uh and yeah, that's kind of, I'm pretty simple and easygoing. So whatever you want to do is good with me. What about you? Yeah, for me, I'm kind of like into like nature and um, mm-hmm. so like going for like a hike or going on the beach and just looking over the waterfall and just have like a picnic at the beach. That would be like a vibe to be honest but um yeah i'm also into like arcades and i have like nice. a competitive spirit so. yeah me too um I, I don't know if you've ever heard of strengths quest it's like um it's this like test it's based on it's not like like an internet quiz but it it's on the internet <laughs> um it's something that you have to pay for so it's a lot a lot more researched and and everything but anyway so there's things called strengths quest it evaluates your top i think 34 strengths and competition every single time i've taken it competition is my number one strength um so yeah i definitely love the arcades i love uh, you know dope. arcade basketball and air hockey and all of that stuff and um i'm super super competitive so uh, yeah i think that'd be really fun All right, let's get let's put that buzz. All right, time is up. Time is up. Time is up. All right, okay. First date out, round one. I'm gonna go to Rashad and Mo Davis and ask them what they think about that first round. What do you all think about that first round? Starting with Mo. Oh, I was starting with me. Okay. Um, I'm going to let him go first, and then I'm going to go to <laughs> I thought it went well. They found some chemistry in that they are both competitive. So it seems like they would have some fun dates just going out um, and, and doing those types of things. You know, uh, um, any way that they can compete playing games, I think they'll find enjoyment with one another, and that'll open up the opportunity to you know, have conversation and, and uh, dive deeper into getting to know one another. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely okay. agree with, you know, finding those sweet spots, but also, you know, um, I, I, I noticed that her first date was going to a movie, you know, socializing a little bit beforehand and then, you know, like letting 
things kind of flow the way they flow. And his was more like, hey, you know, I really want to go on a nature trail. I want to see the outside. I want to walk on the beach and, you know, um, stroll, you know, down the beach and, you know, uh, sit down, maybe have a picnic, I think is something that he said. Um, so just to see their two ideal dates be so very different. Um, I thought that was interesting. and But it's also something to note, you know, um, because just because their ideal date was different doesn't mean that necessarily like that they're not compatible. It just means that um, both just have to be um, com compromising, you know, be able to say, you know what, this time we went to a movie and next time let's go walk down the beach, uh, go to Faneuil Hall in uh, Boston and then come out in Georgia and go to Savannah somewhere. Um, so just having that that mixture, I think it, it would be nice. Yeah. So they have uh, an opportunity to do something similar that they enjoy. Yep. And then they have an opportunity to compromise and explore new things that the other one has an interest in. They have an opportunity to take interest in each other's interest. Yep. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, there you have it. Round one. Okay. First date out. Let's do round two. One of my favorite segments. Round two. Uh, date me and marry me. Now, usually we do date me, sex me, and marry me. But we're going to take the sex me out just because of time constraint and some other things. All right. <laughs> so date me and marry me. You all ask each other, who would you go on a date with and who would you marry? Somebody that is of influence or somebody that is of celebrity status to kind of see, you know, what their preferences are in, in somebody and, and see if it matches with you all's personalities. So let's do it. I'm going to remove myself, Mo Davis and Rashad Davis from the uh, monitor here and let you all ask each other who would you go on a date with and who would you marry let's go brandon and I do you want to go first oh, um <laughs> uh yeah, yeah i can ask you first so who would you date and who would you marry but i might spice it up a little bit so like Okay. You have to give one characteristic about each person that's non-physical of why you chose them. Okay. Um, so I would probably choose a, kind of the first two people that came to mind. I would probably go on a date with Chris Evans. Um, aside from the fact that he's super attractive, um, he just seems like a really nice guy. And, um, you know, he's got a good sense of humor and um uh yeah so i think he would be really interesting to kind of go on a date get to know um and mary i would i don't know if this is like super stereotypical but like matt rife <laughs> um the comedian um he's really hot <laughs> and he's like he and i have very similar senses of humor um he seems like a really nice genuine guy and that's what i look for um is authenticity and genuinity and um yeah, and then uh, aside from from that as well um um having a lot of ambition um and i think he does um just from seeing the way that his career has played out so um what what are yours yeah. Uh, I would say for date me, I would say Tanache because she kind of brings out like that creative aspect with her music. So I kind of see like her creative side that I'm also into like creativity as well. So that's probably why I would date her. And then I would marry Rihanna because just to uh, build that empire and like that destiny and just like leaving that legacy that inspiring like worldwide and global because i kind of love to like be like a worldwide inspirational guide so just like inspiring mm -hmm. the world all over so that's nice so so you appreciate ambition as well yeah definitely cool. i like that nice. all right okay well there you have it date me and marry me you know i'm feeling the chemistry vibe 
right now. <laughs> I don't know, Rashad and Mo. I mean, I, I kind of sense it. I'm, I'm kind of sensing, you know, they're not talking over each other. It's very organic. You know, it's very natural. What do you all think so far? I say yes, I feel it. I feel it. Um, what I liked about this last round with the Mary in particular is that uh, Brandon shared his reason for Rihanna is to build that legacy and empire. And I think what uh, Acacia has in that is she's very driven. You know, um, she's, she's, she's focused, she's career focused. And I think she has at least you know that characteristic to to build uh, a legacy that can be left for the kids, which is something that Brandon is very interested in. So, I think that's uh, very compatible. And um, and for me, yeah, I definitely could see that. I think for me too, I'm, I notice things. I'm I'm a I, I'm a I'm very attentive to detail. And so, and I think that we all should be, especially when it comes to the dating scene, we have to be attentive to detail. And so I think with the attentiveness to detail, what I noticed was Acacia, her type, she mentioned Chris Evans, and she mentioned Matt Rife. And those are very, very distinct, like types of people and personalities, <laughs> and even looks, like thinking about the look of Matt Rife and the look of Chris Evans, it's, you know, just this cute, but not cute. Like it's just this different look, right? Um, they're handsome, but they're almost like not, you know, at the same time. Um, I can't explain it to you, but it's just that, that different look. It, but you're, you're really liking who they are, their personality mm -hmm. more than, than just looks. So I thought that I was agree. very unique. Um, and then I thought with Brandon, he mentioned a superstar like Brianna, and then he also mentioned uh, Tanache, I believe, who is, um, she has beauty, but it's definitely a different, different beauty. And so um, I saw those types and I'm thinking to myself, what does that mean? Is that what you're looking for in terms of your type? Is that when you look at someone, that's what you're attracted to? And then if you have someone who's not necessarily that look, are you not necessarily attracted? So um, for me, that's my thought process, uh, I guess, when it come, came to that whole So I was just wondering in my brain, like, okay, what does that mean for the person that you're looking at right now or the everyday people that you see that don't look like a Chris Evans or don't look like a Rihanna? So I, I guess I'm posing a question with mine. Right, right. And ASAP Rocky, if you're watching... This is just for entertainment purposes only, okay? <laughs> he doesn't want to marry Rihanna. That's just his dream wife, okay? Just for a disclaimer, okay? ASAP Rocky, if you're watching. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for round two, all right? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget while you're watching Soul Days Live to go order that book right now, Speak Your Breakthrough, Biblical Affirmations for Career and Business by Mo Davis, available right now on Amazon. Ladies and gentlemen, while you're watching this show, go ahead and get your copy. I'm going to get my copy. Yeah, Brandon and Kaya, yeah, yeah, I need to get y'all a copy, all right? You know what I'm saying? So y'all get y'all a copy, but make sure you get your copy uh, on Amazon, okay? All right, last but not least, let's go to round three, which is our final round, and it's called Can We Talk? Now, we're going to switch things around, Acacia and Brandon. We're going to have you two ask each other whatever questions you all want to ask each other on your date, okay? It's off limits. You don't have no limitation. Ask whatever questions you want. Once again, the architect, Mo and Rashad, we're going to observe and evaluate in just a few moments. But I'm going to let y'all two talk, starting with Brandon. You ask her whatever you want. And Acacia, you ask Brandon whatever you want. And let's go ahead and see what you all going to talk about, okay? Can we talk round three? Let's go. Hiya. <laughs> Okay, uh, so um, I guess I can ask you ask okay. you a question first. But um, so I'm like really into like spirituality, so like meditation, self care, like chakras and sound bowls and everything like that. So I was just saying, mm -hmm. if 
you will into like spirituality in that type of way or um <laughs> not particularly although um i would say that my i i wouldn't say that i'm religious i would say that i am spiritual in more of like like I, i'm christian um but i don't care as much about like the rules and the you know the structure and all of that i think for me it's just more kind of like my relationship with the lord my relationship with other people um and for me that's what's important um i haven't really gotten into kind of i've been doing a little bit of meditation and um and uh, uh mindfulness and things like that um i'm still learning a lot about it um but but a lot of that stuff you know it's it's still new to me um i was introduced to it in grad school um and i didn't think much about it for a while and then i kind of just recently um sort of as as a form of like self therapy or kind of like you said self care um i've been trying to trying to trying to make it a regular practice for me so Oh, that's so. <laughs> um I was wondering um what is something like a cause or something that you're most passionate about? Uh I'm mostly passionate about awakening like humanity to like just like helping people to become the greatest versions but in whatever they're doing so like just mm-hmm. helping them we align with their true selves or the higher selves and just really accomplish like their mission on earth mm-hmm. so they can like transcend past this illusionary physical realm within the matrix and everything like that so i'm really like just like passionate about helping others and just awakening you mm-hmm. cool so what does that look like for you like um in terms of cuz you kind of mentioned like uh awakening and meditation and chakras and things like that what does that look like for you and and how you practice that yeah so i'm kind of into like different things so like i make music so if that's like having like those higher frequencies or higher vibrations in my music mm-hmm. that can help people and then also am an author so I write books as well and then I have a pod like a spiritual podcast to help people like become the greatest versions and stuff like that so I'm just trying to find like different avenues that I can help people in that way mm-hmm. cool cool I like that okay <laughs> we got got to come back in we got to come back in we got to come back in uh i got to ask you acacia is your cat overly protective i see the cat <laughs> <laughs> joining um, in on the show <laughs> yeah i was trying to <laughs> not, trying to not out what let her be a distraction on. yeah um she it's more so that she has to be involved in every conversation um and so whenever i'm on video calls or anything even if i'm on the phone okay. she has to like be involved she has to be there she has to make herself known <laughs> um and so getting between me and the camera is usually how she does that <laughs> okay all good i was just wondering inquiring minds just wanted to know all right so we're in the last round round sure. 3 can we talk uh mo and rashad your thoughts spirituality is a very you know can be a very big role in a marriage and in a relationship your thoughts absolutely uh i love that brandon went right for the jugular you know he just went right in and uh asked the big question so um i do believe it's super important uh and i do believe that's something should they connect should you to connect that's going to be something that you have to really establish early if you align on you know um because it seems like a very important topic for brandon 
you know, um, and it seems for Acacia, it's kind of like a journey exploring, you know, and, and figuring things out. So uh, that's going to be something that's very important. Um, yeah. So that's, those are my thoughts. Yeah, uh, definitely. I think that's a very, it's like one of those courageous conversations that you meet. So certain things that people don't want to talk about, pol politics and religion. So those are the two things that, that people shy away from for as long as possible. But I think I can appreciate Brandon's courage to have that courageous conversation initially. Um, and I think uh, with Acacia, I think it, she's at a time in her life where she's trying to really just understand like wh what her spirituality even looks like. Um, I noticed that she did say she was a Christian. Uh, but didn't necessarily um, like align with or, or to follow the rules. Um, but she does love and have relationship with with individuals, which I want to say, uh, Acacia, you are following the rules yes. because that's the number <laughs> that's one the rule. Number <laughs> one. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, for it's sure. To love. You do that. That fulfills it's all it. the rules. <laughs> it's love. Love covers a multitude of things. So you um, you're already there. But, um, but yeah, so I think, you know, when it comes down to that, sometimes you, you, you don't want to, you have to have a standard in everything that you do, right? And so even spiritual, spiritual, uh, spirituality. So, um, meeting my husband nine, 10 years ago, his spirituality was very different than mine, um, in terms of religiosity, um, background, experience, things like that. Uh, and then we we had to come, we had to see our similarities by having conversations um, and letting them know what's my, what's I, what I can do, what I won't do, what I'm not settling for, what I am, you know, what I'm, what I'm able to compromise, what I'm not compromised. All of those things are important when it comes down to to every conversation. So I think um, it's, I think it's important for us to have a security in our spirituality before we date. Um, I, I, I say all of that to say that because, you know, I could end up talking to someone, if I'm not secure, I could talk to someone, they lead me down a whole nother path where that's not my destiny. <laughs> and now I'm, you know, stuck somewhere looking crazy, you know, with uh, yeah. a monkey on my head, you know, <laughs> trying to trying to figure out this new thing. <laughs> so so um, I, I, that's the only thing I have to say uh, to that is I love that Brandon asked the conversation. Um, I, I, I would love to see um, just, you know, not rushing into dating, just friendship, just having friendship and then seeing what happens from there so that you are not uh, pulled in any direction in terms of spirituality, because that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so just, you know, finding self first. That's my thing. Mm, okay. Well, that's a great segue, Mo and uh, Rashad, because we're about to get into the last part of the show, which of course is letting the people decide if this is going to be a match or not okay so right now it is viewers choice i want everybody that's tuning in right now on instagram live youtube roku wherever you get your streaming from wherever you get your content from to vote now and decide if this is a match between brandon and acacia do you think they should go on another date or on an on a in-person date i I already know what my thoughts are on this. I already know, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna let you all decide <laughs> during this brief commercial break. So we're gonna take a break, um, Rashad and Mo. I know you all gotta go in a few moments, but we gonna do a commercial break and we're gonna allow the viewers and the listeners to take some time to go into the comment section on our YouTube channel, Beat Break Radio or on Instagram. And let us know if this is a match or not between Brandon and Acacia, okay? Do you think they should go on a in-person date with each other right here on Soul Days Live, all right? So we're going to be right back. We're going to play a couple of PSAs, and we're going to come right back. And Brandon and Acacia are going to make their final decision, okay? Sounds good? All right, we will be right back right here on Soul Days Live. Sean Gary right here on Honey via Roku TV 
and on YouTube, Deep Work Radio. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at this stat. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. Destiny requires patience. Destiny requires patience. As I look back through the... You've messed up your son's haircut. Mm, Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. And we're back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Soul Days Live. I hope you all put those votes in and let us know if this is a match or not between Brandon and Acacia. We are back. Soul Days Live. This is the episode before the last episode of the season. We'll be back with a brand new season. We're coming up on season four of Soul Days Live. I can't believe it. We we've done Soul Days Live since last year. 2023 and we're going to be up on our season four fourth season of soul days live sometime in november because around that time is cuffing season okay so it's only right that we bring the show back <laughs> during cuffing season we still have our special guests rashad and mo davis ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for hanging out with us uh, and once again, make sure you go and grab that new book by Mo Davis herself. Speak your breakthrough, biblical affirmations for career and business available right now on Amazon and wherever you get your books from. She got the book already handy in her hand. So make sure you go out and support a sister. All right? We really appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. So Rashad and Mo, we're getting down to the final, final wire of this whole dating thing between Brandon and Acacia. But before we go back to them, what do you all think about this experience thus far? I want to hear from you and, you know, let let us know your thoughts. I think it's an awesome platform. I love the design. I love the, uh, the different 
dates, you know, that you did and just having a, a, a married couple to chime in, uh, someone with experience, you know, so I love the setup for sure. It's entertaining. Yeah, definitely. I think, too, when we think about just what Acacia said initially about not having a true platform to mm -hmm. meet people in, yeah. um, especially for introverts, you know, this is a great platform for introverts. Um, there's there's safety when you're in the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. there, there's a level of safety there, not just from physical harm, but also psychological safety. Um, and so I believe mm -hmm. that being able to be behind a desk, even though you're on a screen, you're behind a desk, you're in your home, you got your cats around, mm -hmm. your dog, your bird, whatever animal that you love, and you are there okay and and you you don't feel the pressure of being in person and feeling like you have to perform or you have to do the right thing or, or yes. move the right way yeah. or pull up in the right vehicle so i think this is a really great platform for introverts and also just a really great way to at least try to meet new people it doesn't necessarily have to develop into a marriage it could develop into a friendship um and it's always good to, to make friends so yeah, and, and I agree, you know, whatever it takes both parties into, that's what it should be. You know, we try to be different from other dating shows, and of course, there's a plethora of da different dating shows that are out there, but what makes us different from other people is that we come from a place of integrity, by the way, and we want to make sure that we make genuine connections and not just bring on people that just want the exposure or just want to be seen but that are coming from a real place all right so ladies and gentlemen i could hear i can i can almost hear my echo in the background i think this is telling me that we need to wrap it up so let's go ahead and bring our data's back on okay there we go let's go ahead and bring our data's back on uh oh i didn't mean to do that uh let's bring on brandon and acacia uh, ladies and gentlemen, they are both um, hanging out with us, been on here uh, since the beginning of the show. And um, the suspense is almost killing me because we want to find out if there is a match between you, Brandon, and Acacia. So, um, I mean, here we are. This, this, is, this is the uh, final part of the show. And so now I'm going to go ahead and mute the music in the background here uh because we want to see if there's going to be a uh another date or a in-person date whatever that framework looks like between you brandon and acacia so uh before we get into that brandon do you have anything you want to let the viewers know or acacia know before you make your decision uh no, I just say I would say um thank you all for your time for coming on and your advice um with Shad and Monique as well and just I'm just glad to be here as well. Okay, and and once again for those that don't know that don't know Brandon's been on the show a couple of times. He didn't get picked, but this time around he is back on with us. Uh, shooting his shot again and see where it lands. So, Brandon, we really appreciate your due diligence for coming back on the show. I know there have been some times, some instances where people would come on and not come on again, but you hung in there anyway, and we really appreciate that. Acacia, any last words before you make your decision? Um, no, I just want to echo Brandon, and um, I really appreciate Rashad and Mo coming in and giving your input and your um, your uh, wisdom. So thank you. All right. Okay. So I don't have my drum roll effect, <laughs> but we're going to pretend in our heads that we have a drum roll in the background. So let's go over to Brandon. Brandon, do you see yourself going on an in-person date with acacia it's on you uh i first want to say thank you akisha for coming on as well and i appreciate just um your energy of just being here but um my decision would have to be um 
uh, I would say um, I'm kind of getting like that friend vibe. So in this instances, I would just have to choose myself in this case scenario. But um, For sure. I definitely would um, love to be like friends and stuff. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, I feel the same way. Mm. <laughs> Mm, okay okay interesting twist interesting twist acacia <laughs> what do you have to say in response to that no i mean i'm i'm on the same wavelength um i think you're a really cool person and um and i would love to get to know more about like kind of your insights and what you're doing for yourself and what you're putting out into the world i think that would be really cool um uh as friends <laughs> mm, okay okay so it's gonna be a friendship vibe not saying that they're not going to talk or anything they just gonna keep it on a friendship level okay i can respect that i can respect that uh mo and rashad i honestly when i want y'all two to jump in real quick because i honestly felt that there was some type of connection between you two, but sometimes it doesn't work out the way we think in advance. But uh, Rashad and Mo, what do you have to say? Well, I, I'll say that um, you know, there's a there's a level of discernment I think that some women just have, and I, I'm I, I'm going to put my hat in the game to say that I'm one of those women, um, and so what I saw before us today is like a budding friendship. You know, I saw something where there, they could definitely be uh, friends and get to know each other better. I, I didn't see, you know, hearts and roses and things like that, but I did see <laughs> two different people coming from two different perspectives and maybe deciding to learn more about each other. You know, um, the world is filled with friends. Uh, we need more people to have friendships and be smart in the beginning to know you're a friend. You're not someone I should be dating, right? And so having that wisdom on both of their behalf, I think it's perfect. And it's it's what I felt, what I saw when I was listening in. I, I saw friendship. Um, I don't know about him. What did you uh, yeah, I agree. I was just, um, I was feeling as though that doesn't mean we can't hang out. I do believe that you guys could have a good time. You know, um, as I mentioned in the first segment with going out and doing something competitive, you know, I do believe that there could be some fun experiences had and, you know, be friends, whatever that looks like. You know, I think that there's some uh, potential there. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. I, I definitely agree. Well, Brandon, like I said, you hung in there. You have been very resilient just by coming back on and you know just keeping it classy so we really appreciate it and just best of luck to you best wishes to you and especially you acacia you have been such a team player and all this we really appreciate it thank you so much for coming on uh, I, I don't think this will be the last time we're going to see you on Soul Days Live, Acacia. I, I have a feeling you're going to be back on very soon. <laughs> um, but before before we uh, exit stage left, anything else you want to say to Brendan or to our viewers and to Rashad and Mo? Um, yeah, just thank you for putting this together, Sean. Um, I really appreciate that. And thank you for allowing me to be here. Um, and, and again, um, I just really appreciate Rashad and Mo for, um, for taking the time out to be here as well. And, um, and Brandon, of course, <laughs> you know, taking the time out to be here. So, uh, thank you. All right. And Brandon, any last words before we let you all go? Uh, um, yeah, thank you again. Just like how she said, and yeah, it's been a journey and it's on Joni being on Soul Dates Live. All right. Well, thank you all so much, Acacia and Brandon. Thank you all for coming on Soul Dates Live. We wish you the best of luck. And we will keep you all posted. Okay? We really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Okay? 
thank you all right you're welcome all right uh brandon and keisha uh oh, we didn't make a match we didn't make a match tonight but you know it happens it happens it's life it's life uh mo and rashad but we had a great time we had a great time uh having them on and uh interacting with each other and see where it goes you know i mean sometimes it it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but as long as uh the friendship level is there and everybody walks away uh happy that's all that matters so rashad and mo i I really appreciate you guys for coming on uh tonight's so days live now we're coming up on the season finale of so days live we got to find Sean a woman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so telling you, down. I'm a lot of work. <laughs> I'm a lot of work. No, I'm no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, so, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, the book is called Speak Your Breakthrough, Biblical Affirmations for Career and Business. Let the people know how they can get the book, how they can order it, and any upcoming projects you have in the works right now between you and Rashad. Yeah, definitely. First and foremost, we just want to say thank you, Sean, for um, yes. allowing us on this platform and you know even revising some of your things that you do uh, mm. <laughs> so that they can be make sure it's good and clean. Um, but I think also that... Um, this is just, like I said, a great platform for individuals who are introverts and, you know, who just want to find, you know, who it is that God has destined for their life. So um, thank you for that. The other piece is you you asked about where we could grab the book. You can grab the book from Amazon. It's on Kindle. It's on Amazon.com. It's called Speak Your Breakthrough, uh, Biblical Affirmations for Career and Business by Mo Davis. That's my author name, Mo Davis. So you can check that out. Um, I have a passion for career transitioners. I have a passion for business owners and really helping them to um, understand the power within, understand that God has given them so much authority, so so much power. Um, and again, life and death lies in their tongue. And so when they believe in that power and they put into action with speaking their breakthrough, there is something that moves in heaven for them. There's something that happens on the other side of of the unseen realm you know things that we cannot see and those heavenly angels are moving and shaking and making Mm. sure that we get to where we're supposed to go so um you got to speak your breakthrough you got to believe it and put it in action and so that's what this book is really about um and um the projects that i have coming up september 21st um i'll be leading a panel um with one mdb ceo chicks and ecom spaces and that will be uh september 21st in atlanta and then um i know i have some things happening as well in september um uh speaking for girl mob which is a huge community of women um just teaching them about success uh how how to gain success on linkedin and um i'll be speaking in october in louisiana at a conference um again speaking about success and how you can gain success in um uh, being a corporatepreneur and so yeah so i'll be all around just follow me really uh, to, to continue to stay in touch with some of the things that i have going on absolutely absolutely and uh rashad davis i mean what what you get what you got coming up you're doing some big things with mo what do you have coming up or what do you want the viewers and listeners to know yes um thank you uh so we're just doing a lot of work in the digital landscape we're building uh communities for uh online course creators and membership owners so we've been doing great work with a lot of influential people so i'll also be at that event she mentioned on september 21st having a fireside chat with um, colleen otero and we're talking about building communities um outside of that we're just doing a lot of work with the young people just really cultivating the youth in mentorship Mm -hmm. and in youth ministry so that's the scope of the work that we're doing right now let me just tell you all that i'm very proud of the both of you all and you are like a not only a living testimony but you all are a very inspirational couple and power couple to me i am 
just around married couples all the time. Like most of my friends are married with kids. And I want people to take away whenever they watch the show, so they five, and we try to bring one as many couples as possible. I want them to take away that this is a show that is meant for people who are really trying to find love with the intention of getting married. And in this world where things are becoming more normalized to where it's very outrageous, it's very disgusting to me in my opinion, it's all about kingdom business and building with your partner, building with your spouse, building with your wife, your husband, in order to keep this nation going, in order to keep the community going. If you don't have a community, if you don't have a nation, if you don't have family, we don't have anything. So I just want to applaud you all and just say thank you for just being an inspiration to the viewers and to the listeners that are tuning in tonight and showing them that love still exists in our community. You know, I, I know these past few days we've, we've heard the headlines about what happened between j-lo and ben affleck and even judge mathis and we don't know all the details on why their marriage failed or where or why it's in the situation that is in now but i always love bringing on people that exemplify and show that it takes work to be in a marriage you know the magic is not getting married is actually staying married and i always want to celebrate people who have put in the work who have done the work and who are working with each other to make it work so i want to applaud you mo and applaud you with shot for just being an inspirational piece to people like myself and other people that is just trying to figure it out you know what i mean or or wanting to get married so i really appreciate Thank you, thank you. And it just comes from keeping God at the center. Keeping God at the center uh, allowed us to, uh, even if we do, don't see eye to eye on certain things, being able, and if I do handle something in the wrong way or she does, God brings us back to one another. He allowed yeah. us the strength to get out of our flesh and our feelings mm -hmm. and get back to one another. And I did want to correct uh, that handle. It's the number one Rashad Davis for my handle. Okay. The number one Rashad Davis. And I also want to add one other thing that um, I'm doing is uh, with my brother, shout out to uh, Kenyon Dudley and um, my brother Taylor Keith. We are hosting a um, platform that we're doing for, for men to just get together and talk about those topics mm. that uh, men need to uh, address and, yeah. and, and find healing and a way forward. Absolutely, absolutely. More conversations on black men being vulnerable, being in those vulnerable yes. spaces and having conversations, right? Especially, definitely, definitely, man. Well, I appreciate it. You all are more than welcome anytime. Uh, you know, we're going to keep people, people posting on the challenge, the challenge to find Sean Garvey, a, 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 a potential wife. <laughs> we'll give everybody in the loop on that, but thank you all Monique and, and Rashad for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. And if you all need anything from me, just let me know. I'm here for you all. Um, anytime. All right. We really appreciate it. No problem, Sean. And we'll be praying for you because a man who finds the wife finds the good, good thing, thing, but also obtains favor. The Lord. You yes. obtain favor from God when you find a good wife. And so um, my prayer is that, you know, when you're ready and she's ready, that you guys mm -hmm. will meet and and, um, and you'll have you'll have Bye. your good thing. Your good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. I believe it and I receive it. Thank you all so much. No problem. Bye, guys. Okay. All right. Y'all have a great night. All right, y'all. This has been Soul Days Live with the architect Sean Garvey season finale the next weekend. Thank you all to my guests for coming on, honey. Make sure you download that Honey app to your Roku TV. If you haven't already, make sure you download that. And continue to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel, Beat Break Radio. That's where you can check us out. Um, we will do a replay of tonight's show tomorrow night, Monday night, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
And as promised, we will have a Soul Days Live episode on Wednesday nights and on Friday nights. Maybe on Saturday nights, but definitely for sure. Sunday nights, Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so make sure you let somebody know, get your popcorn, and enjoy the show. And you will learn something, just like you learned something from tonight's show, all right? And don't forget, for anybody that wants to be on Soul Days Live, shoot us an email, souldayslive at gmail.com. If you or someone you know wants to participate on the show, we're coming up on the final episode of season three we're going to take a two-month hiatus and we will be back in november for season four of so days live but in the meantime between times send that email out to so days live at gmail.com all right if you want to be on the show if you want to be a contestant or a dater on the show hit us up so days live at gmail.com in the meantime between time i am going to get up out of here but i will check in with you all next time especially on the season finale of so days live Sean Garvey. You all have a great night. Deuces.